My name is Lindsay Doves. I am the Associate Director of the North Carolina Renewable Ocean Energy Program, for which I also do environmental assessment research. The focus of my research is assessing the environmental impacts of Gulf Stream-based energy. However, we don't know very much about the ecology of this area, so we don't know much about what the environmental impacts will be because we don't know which organisms are using what parts of the Gulf Stream, when, and for what reasons. So a lot of our research to date has focused on kind of characterizing that environment. We have done work on sea turtles, marine mammals, and also sargassum. Sargassum is a pelagic macroalgae, so it is not phytoplankton, it is a larger type of primary producer, and it is found in most of the world's oceans. This pelagic macroalgae floats at the surface of the Gulf Stream and it kind of gets entrained along the western wall and accumulates there where it's really important habitat for marine organisms and it's actually protected habitat because of how it supports fish. And we are finding that sargassum is also very important for nutrient cycling and just primary production within the Gulf Stream serving as the base of that food web. Sargassum is important because it's an extremely unique marine structure. Because it spends its entire life floating out in the open ocean, it provides structure in an environment that's otherwise devoid of that kind of complexity. Structure provides habitat for anything from planktonic organisms all the way up to your charismatic megafauna, like whales and cetaceans, migratory fish. My research deals with the very fundamentals of the Gulf Stream environment because we're looking at the nutrient cycling capabilities and specifically nitrogen, which is the limiting nutrient in that environment. Any process that delivers biologically available nitrogen to that environment is theoretically going to increase primary productivity, which will cascade up the food chain. My research fits into the North Carolina Renewable Ocean Energy Program because our mission is to find marine hydrokinetic energy off the coast of North Carolina that can help meet the energy demands of our state in a sustainable manner. And so that means that if we are to harvest energy from um, marine hydrokinetic or wave or current resources off of the North Carolina coast, we have to do so with the other uses of that environment in mind, including uses by other animals and organisms, as well as humans.